Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to the 16th video tutorial of the web development course wherein we are using bootstrap to develop a complete portfolio website right from the scratch and in this video tutorial we are going to be developing the services page that is the individual services that are offered by our company so web designing web development so these are all individual pages and right now if i click on it you can see we have nothing on it if you have missed any of the previous video tutorials we basically developed all the top level pages that is the home page so this is the home page we've developed the portfolio page we've also developed the about us and we've also developed the contact us page okay so if you've missed any of these video tutorials i'll drop a link of this entire playlist do check them out you can see a link on the top right corner in a card or i'll also drop the link in the video description now coming to the services page as you can see right now we have nothing except the footer and the header obviously so let's see the original website and let's see how the services page looks like So this is the actual original web page which we are trying to replicate and in the next tab this is the current website that we are developing so coming to the original one in the services let's see what is web designing and this is how the web designing page looks like again the footer and the header is always going to be common but this is a very simple user interface as you can see we have some text on the left about web designing so what does our company do as a web designing company and how is this service provided by us what are the different types of websites so we have static website designing we have dynamic website designing and development and what not you know so this is just the description about this service that we offer and then we have some related images now obviously just by looking at it you can see that there is a container being used because there is some left and right margin left out and you can see there is a split between the text as well as the images i suppose it is a 84 split or 93 split i guess if i just right click on it and inspect element so inside the section this is a container as i mentioned in the row okay so it is a 9 3 split so you can see 9 is for the text 3 is for the images pretty basic we've been doing this throughout this entire web development series so this is not going to be a big deal even this top title section is pretty much we've done in about us and contact us and then we have the breadcrumbs also so breadcrumb is basically the hierarchy of where exactly we are on the web page so let's see we have come on the home page and then we went to the services and the web designing so there should be one more hierarchy over here that is home slash services slash web designing so we will do that in our original website so this is what a breadcrumbs is and again we have inbuilt bootstrap classes for this kind of structure and lastly we have this skill set okay so this skill set is basically a metric which shows your skills in the particular domain so for example here what i'm trying to say is simple snippets is 95% good in static web designing that is we consider ourselves 95% nice or good and then we consider ourselves 85% good at dynamic web designing so basically you are rating yourself out of 100% in the respective designing domain okay now quickly i'm just going to show you other pages also because they are also going to be following the same design language so if we come on web development again some information about web development some images related to web development and then in the skill set you can see we have four different skill sets that is the languages php the database mysql then jquery asp.net and e-commerce so basically we are just rating ourselves in these different technologies how good we are coming to the seo services so again a description about what are seo services and our skill sets in the different tools that are used that is google adwords facebook ads instagram ads and what not you know so you can see the design language is pretty simple we have the description with the images and then we have the skill set so it will be the same in software development it will be the same in mobile app development so your skill set has been android apps ios apps hybrid apps and what not and then we have graphic designing okay so your the skill set would be the tools that are used that is photoshop lightroom adobe illustrator and what not okay so what we'll do is we'll design one single web page and then other all pages are definitely going to be the same copy paste of this structure itself right because we just have to change the text we just have to change the images and then we need to add a little bit of skill sets or remove them depending upon what page we are on and then the last trip is the requirement trip we've done this on the home page so we are directly going to copy paste it and that would be the end of this page so with that being said let's start off with the development of this page and let's go to the code so coming to the code we are developing the website designing page so coming to the website designing page this is our website designing page I'm going to minimize the header as well as the footer everything that we are going to code is in between the header and the footer so I'm going to add a section and that section will have this container row and column hierarchy so let's add that so I'm going to say div dot container then I'm going to say div dot row 
and inside the row we have a split of 9 and 3 right so i'm going to say div dot call md 9 and just going to copy this and i'm going to say call md 3 okay so here we have some text so let's right click on it and let's see what tag it is so it's a h3 tag just copying this text i'm going to say h3 about web designing okay one thing we missed out is this top title section so this title section we can directly copy page from the about us also you can see this is the same over here so i'm going to go to the about us page and i'm going to copy this first section i'm going to come to the web designing and paste it over here here i'm going to add one more breadcrumb actually and it is not active it is going to be services okay and this web page is basically web designing so let's change the title also so i'm going to say web designing copy this text paste it over here also in the breadcrumbs part you can see there is a class breadcrumb and breadcrumb item so this is inbuilt bootstrap class and this is what it gives that styling so let's see how our website now looks so there you go you can see home slash services slash web designing now we can click on home to go back to the main home page we have to change this about us to actually web designing so this has to be web designing there you go it got changed and now we can add the text that is about web designing and the all the text inside so let's add this i'm going to copy this in the p tag copy this and paste it again copy this text by the way you can also generate dummy text if you want to generate dummy text what you have to do is you have to type in the p tag inside that you just have to type in lorem if you type in lorem you can see the emit abbreviation comes just click on it or hit enter or hit tab and then dummy text will be generated now if you see our original website there you go you can see the text is being added also and i made a mistake i am actually adding all this text in the first section itself so that is not supposed to be done i'm going to cut the heading tag and all the paragraphs because this is the heading section or the title section actually just undo it we need the h2 and not all the paragraphs okay so this has to be as it is we have to add text to this section that is this white one so I'm going to minimize this section. This section is done. We'll add things over here. And there you go. You can see the text is added. Now in order to have this justified text, you can see the text is coming in a proper format. So we have to say text hyphen justify. If you say this, the text is properly justified. Right now you might not be able to understand. If I say text hyphen left, it gets positioned to the left. If I say text hyphen right, it gets positioned to the right. I can say text center. It will come to the center, but we want justify. So this is what we are going to go. Now you can see there is more text. So I'm just going to copy this text in paragraph tags. Again, a lot of text to be copy pasted. Of course, I'm going to be sharing all these files, all these images and code with you guys. And I'll drop a link in the video description wherein you can get all this okay so i've added all the text let's see how it looks like there you go all the text is added now the only thing needed is the three images on this rhs that is in the three split part so the first division which had nine split got the text properly now we need images in this place so let's add those images first so coming to our folder that is the project folder inside the images folder inside the services folder what i've done is i've added more subfolders that is web design web dev software dev seo services mobile dev and graphic design so each of this folder is for individual web pages and right now we are inside web designing right so inside web designing we have these three images so web design 1 web design 2 web design 3 so obviously i'm going to be sharing all these images you can also get it but in case you want to download it you can go to flaticons.com so the website name is flaticons.com you can simply search for the icon that you need i'm gonna say website mockup just type in whatever image you want to search and there you go you can see a mockup comes up you can just download this now there are different file types in which you can download this you can download it as a png svg eps phd file and whatnot you know i'm gonna go ahead and download it png in a 512 size pixel that is the largest one just click on free download these are some free icons which you can directly use right click on this icon cut it and put it into your project folder 
I'm gonna rename it to web design four, and that's how you can use icons from this website. Coming to our web page, coming to the code, we need to add three images, right? So I'm gonna say IMG SRC in the images folder in the services in the web design folder. Let's add this current image that we just downloaded. And now if you see, it is gonna take up the entire space because it is a very large image. But what we want is we want it to be fluidic. We want it to be responsive. So we have to add a class of IMG hyphen fluid. And there you go. Now it is taking only the three spaces of that column. We can also add a little bit of padding. I'm gonna say P3, P hyphen three, sorry. There you go, the padding is added. And I'm just gonna copy this two more times and just change the name to three and two. There you go, the respective images have been added. I'm gonna increase the padding a little bit on these images so that they become a little bit smaller. Coming to the code, I'm gonna say P5, P5. Okay, on a cell phone, it has to be P-3. But on a medium device or larger than medium, it has to be PMD5, okay? Okay, so there you go, you can see. If I right click inspect element, looks pretty neat, right? Now obviously you can add a little bit more text and if you have less text, then what you can do is you can remove one of the image if you want. So I'm gonna add a little bit more text over here. So there you go, you can see when I add a little bit of more text, it looks nice and filled up. So now let's see what do we have on the original website. There you go, you can see the last thing that we need to add is the skill set section. Now coming to our code, this top one more section is done. Let's add one more section that is the skill set section. This section. Inside that I'm pretty sure we have the container division in row hierarchy. I'm going to say div dot container. I'm going to say div dot row. And let's right click on it and let's see what do we have over here. Inside the call md12. So we are saying div class call hyphen md hyphen 12 in fact actually we just can keep it directly 12 only because we only have two divisions and one h3 and they are always going to be stacked in this vertical form only that is the first h3 then the second division and third division okay so let's add this h3 also okay so the h3 is added now let's see what do we have over here how do we get this cool styled bars which are showing the percentage so we have individual divisions for this and we've given it a class of bar, which means that this is a horizontal bar and we have added some custom styling in the CSS and we've also added some inline style. So I'm just going to copy paste this and paste it into our code and then we'll try to analyze what we have over here. Okay, so I've added the division with the class bar with some padding and margin and the background color as green and I've also given it a width of 95%. Okay, so let's see how it looks like on our web page coming to our website. So there you go, right now it is already added, but you can see we don't have those border radius curves to this and we don't have the styling that is the color as white and that is because we still have to add custom styling to this bar class. So let's go to our custom CSS, scroll down. Let's add this class over here. I'm going to say color is going to be white. Font weight is going to be 600, which is semi bold font size is going to be 1.1 rem so there you go you can see white color and the size also increased we need to add the border radius so i'm going to say border hyphen radius let's make it 17 pixel and there you go you can see nice border radius is being added we can also add a border of 1 pixel solid slate gray so you can see a border is also added we can make it two pixel to make it a little darker there you go now it looks pretty neat right comparing it with the original one it looks pretty much similar here the border is a little sharp and here it is a little bolder because it is two pixel and it is a light color i can reduce it to one pixel and i can change the color to a little darker color there you go looks pretty much the same right now this entire division is taking 95% of the actual size because we have given it a width of 95%. So 
so this division is taking 95% of call hyphen 12 so if you right click on it if you see this is the entire column and 95% is this much and 85% is this much okay so you can see the difference right 85 and 95 that's because we've statically given the values and this is pretty much our web designing page you can add a little bit of padding over here you can see or a margin so let's add a little bit of margin so the breadcrumb section is this top one which ends over here then we have another section inside that we have a container i'm gonna say empty hyphen three there you go you can see margin is added but i'm gonna say empty md hyphen three which means margin top for medium devices or larger otherwise the margin is gonna be empty hyphen one which means on any device which is smaller than medium device the margin top is gonna be one units otherwise it is gonna be three units okay on a larger screen so i hope you know how to use this dynamic padding and dynamic margin i have a dedicated video in this playlist wherein i have taught you how to use this dynamic padding and margin which changes its sizes depending upon what screen size of device you are on so yeah this was the complete web designing page i'm gonna wrap it up over here but what you can do is you can go ahead and develop the other pages also because all the other pages are always gonna be the same so this is the page that we designed let's check it on a mobile phone there you go this is how it looks like on a mobile phone looks pretty neat right and then coming back to the desktop size now going to our original website what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to develop all the other web pages because all of them are pretty much the same just that we have to add a little bit of more divisions over here with different colors and again this is all static the color is also given static over here you can see in this section you can see the division we've given it a class and then in the style we are giving static colors that is green so here it is showing green here we've given purple so it is showing purple and the width is also static so all other web pages also follow the similar design hierarchy and pattern you just need to change the text you just need to add some dummy text and some different images and that's about it the last section is left out over here in our website we did not develop it so let's copy it from the home page so coming to the home page that is default.html so this is that requirement section just copy this and go to the web designing part above the footer and below the last section just paste it and there you go you can see we got this section so this was developed in the home page itself so we just need to copy paste it and yeah that's about it our complete service page that is the web designing page is ready all the other pages are going to be the same so i'm not going to make a separate video tutorial for all these pages in the next video tutorial i'm just going to copy paste all the code of this web page into these web pages and make the text and image changes that's about it and then i'll directly show you the code obviously and yeah that's it for this video guys i'm going to wrap it up over here we are pretty much completed with our entire website development and the next thing that comes is how you can make this website live on a live server so we'll see that as we move ahead in this series so thanks for watching guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was and i'll see you guys in the next video peace